Hi, it's Cameron Reynolds. I'm here with my friend Byron Ferris, and we are doing a lot of stuff. We've got this Lyson honey pump or syrup pump. It does both. I'm going to have him explain that to you in just a minute, but we're going to kind of show you a couple other things. I think it's really awesome. I absolutely love it and kind of wish I had one. Super quiet, super fast, and easy to clean. I'll probably have one in the future. And if you'd like to see it at our Hive Life Conference, January 7th and 8th of 2022, then uh, let us know and we'll try to get better be there. Let's go check out the wax dipper. So we've been wax dipping since uh, we started this thing up at 6 o'clock this morning. And we've got five medium boxes in here. Pull those on out. And uh, I just I just love it. I just have to show it again. Just have to get those center. I've got two in the middle. I don't have my gloves. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That feels good. Yeah, thank you, Byron. Do not do this barehanded. But anyway, so you can see that um you got the gloves man i've already done my share <laughs> anyways you can just see how it's just soaking in it's nice i don't know how many of you have seen this new addition that we've added onto the tank it's bolted on and we have some gasket sealer that we put in between the stainless steel and the one by 12s it gives us so much more space we don't have to worry about leaks and i can uh, watch it. I don't have to worry about it foaming over. Five mediums at a time. I can do, you know, three deeps in a medium. I can I can stick a little bit more than this in there, but right now we're just we're loading stuff up. We're pumping syrup. We're doing so many different things, and uh, these are Cypress boxes. I just absolutely love, and I don't have to worry about, you know, any rot issues. It just soaks down in there. It's already dry right there. I don't have to worry about that coming off, but. Anyways, we're just uh, wax dipping a bunch of stuff, and uh, got a lot more to do. Hey, by the way, we're having a live chat coming up this weekend, so I'll leave in the comments below the date so you can attend that. A lot of people hate missing them, and I'm really bad about announcing them with some forewarning, so... In the comments below, you can look at that date, and we'll have questions and answers for new beekeepers and beekeepers who just have questions. So, Byron, let's go over here and look at this pump and turn it on. Now, this is Byron's baby right here, and he's pumping out sucrose. Maybe you should talk a little bit about them, how thick it is, because a lot of people purchase this at the conference, and they think that it's two to one, or it's something that you can make at home, or they could you know, make pollen patties with this. And so you can make pollen patties with this, but it's different than making it with like two to one sugar syrup that you make at home with granulated sugar. This is like honey thickness. And so you get 32 pounds of this syrup and then 15 pounds of Ultra B dry powder or Mega B, and you can mix that up with a drill and I've got videos on that. I'll leave a link up here. Um, but Byron, why don't you tell them about the viscosity and all this, and I'll let you have it. Okay. Well, first of all, the syrup that a lot of you guys purchased at the conference, um, this is the same syrup. It is a three and a half to one uh, inverted solution. So it is almost as uh, thick as honey. I believe it weighs about 11.6, nine or seven pounds. Per gallon, so it's it's pretty heavy, especially when you uh, when you put it in a bucket, like a lot of you guys got it back in January. Well, today what we're doing is we're pumping some of this syrup for Cayman, and the only way you can do this effective and efficiently is to use a syrup or a honey pump. This year, I decided to go with the um, with the Lyson brand. I don't know if a lot of you guys know who Lyson is, but uh, Lyson uh, is a company that's in Poland. The uh, distributor here in the States is Better Be, which is located up in New York. So I called them this summer and they were able to, um, to send this pump down to me. I've got a great story on Better Be. Uh, their customer service was uh, just about impeccable. When I received my first uh, unit, 
Um, somehow I got damaged in shipping. The box itself was, um, was damaged, it was torn. So as I did my unboxing, I noticed that the, uh, that the unit was damaged cosmetically. However, it, it uh, appeared that it would function okay. So I brought this attention to uh, Dennis at Better Be and Bree. Actually, I think Bree took the call. And um, Dennis said that he would uh, ship me another unit out uh, and I could continue to use this one until the other one arrived. So at one point in time, I had two of these uh, for just a few days and uh, that was very gracious of Better Be to, to come and uh, uh, come to my need and uh, let me get my work done while I was waiting on the uh, replacement. So the one thing that's unique about this pump is um, that it's able to pump uh, a real viscous um, fluid like honey or syrup. Uh, some of you guys out there, especially uh, sideliners and commercial guys, y'all use uh, some type of a, of a trash pump or a, a sump pump or something to uh, mix your, uh, your syrup solution. For feeding uh, that unit probably won't fit this situation I don't think that the uh, trash pump can move this uh, thick of a, of a syrup uh, through itself I probably would end up doing some damage before too long don't yeah you agree? I think it burned the pump up so um, so what I decided to do was uh, I looked at all the units that were available to me and this one kind of uh, fit the bill for my needs so what's really unique about this pump is that um, most of it is a stainless steel construction. Uh, the, the motor, well actually the pump is gear driven, so there are no belts. Uh, the, uh, the hose that it supports is an inch and a half. Of course we have inch and a half sanitary couplings and gaskets so, um, so we can easily unhook and clean out the unit. There's very little maintenance to this machine other than the fact that you have to maybe check the oil in the transmission, or the gearbox rather, and uh, just make sure that, uh, that it's working uh, properly. One of the great features about this unit that a lot of the other units don't have is, and we're gonna go ahead and turn this on so you guys can hear it run. First of all, you have a, you have an, you have a switch over here to uh, turn the unit on and off. You also have an emergency switch, so if you have an issue, you can just pop this button and it'll shut down automatically. You also have a directional control, so you can go, you can actually pump the syrup one way or the other, depending on how you have your, your hookups. So right now I've got it um, in this position here, which is going to pump syrup to the tote and pull from this. So it's in the on position, so I'll just turn the dial. As I turn the dial on, the pump starts to increase the more I turn the dial clockwise. I don't know if you guys can pick this up on the video, but it's a very quiet unit. It's crazy quiet. You know, this stuff isn't the warmest syrup in the world either. It's uh, been sitting out here all day, and it's probably in the, but it's in the 40s right now, and uh, you know, Byron did heat it up early this morning or overnight with a, a little heater, but there's not much left in there. How, how many gallons does this pump a, a well, minute? Or? Well, if the um, if the syrup isn't as viscous and it's uh, maybe a nice summer day, uh, it's probably going to run us up to four gallons a minute, so which is uh, about 240 gallons an hour. But right now, I think today we're probably pumping at about maybe three three maybe three gallons a minute it, somewhere along it line. emptied that tank really quick we've got it running over to that tank behind those hives right there excuse the mess but we have a lot of stuff going on but i mean think about how heavy that is it's over 11 pounds to the gallon and it's pushing that all the way up there and it's doing it fast in cool weather it's super quiet the motor doesn't even sound like it's straining it's not hot um, when you touch it um, it's tough, and it, it's made in Poland. Um, I've had some people ask me if there's a good American-made motor, and I, I'm here to tell you, I don't know. Uh, I, I hope there is, but you know, there's not a whole lot of reviews out there on them, and what little experience I've had with American-made ones hasn't been super exciting. Hopefully, we'll come across when we can do a video, but right now, I'm hoping that our conference, we can have Better Be come out and bring several of these 
lice and pieces of equipment so we can get some hands-on first-hand experience. I really appreciate Byron sharing um, his experience with it because there's just so many things in beekeeping, whether it's from the U.S. or out of the U.S., that we have not seen it in action. You'll see it online, but seeing it actually work really makes all the difference. And what he used to warm that syrup up last night it's just one of these right here i use them all the time you can heat water i use them to mix up my coats of one to one or two to one or warming this stuff up for making patties whatever they're super handy and i'm going to leave a link below as well if you want to check these out i think they're pretty reasonably priced uh, is there anything else on this pump I think so. Uh, one thing I'd like to uh, to make mention is I talked about the um, the reversing effect where I can uh, pump syrup both ways. So that's really going to help you out when you when you finish up your job. So typically when you're when you're finished pumping, you've got um, a lot of material still left in your um, supply supply line. So what this pump is able to do, I'm able to to stop the pump, put it in reverse and actually pump out whatever syrup is in the line back through, back into my tank. So that's less cleanup that I have to do uh, when I end up washing the unit. Washing the unit is very simple for me. All I do is once I break everything down is uh, I get a, a couple of buckets of uh, warm water and I just do the process over again. I just pump, pump the, um, the water through the pump and it just it cleans it up quite nicely. Now I'll run some cold water through it for a while to make sure I get most of everything out. Once everything is completely done, my hoses are cleaned out, broken down, rolled up, put away, is um, Laurel, if you'll come over here. One thing I do want to point out that we didn't point out earlier is this pump here, you're able to take the pump housing off the unit, which will expose the impeller and you're able to remove this whole unit and you're able to, to clean it. You're able to clean it with water. If there's any residual syrup left, you're able to blow it out with an air hose. I found that that makes it really clean. Of course, it's all stainless steel, so uh, there's not gonna be any rust uh, there around the, uh, around the impeller. So I just think that's a big selling point uh, uh, for Lyson and better be. I want to say again, uh, uh, thanks to Bree, thanks to Dennis for helping me out. I think it was a great purchase. I've purchased from Better Bee in the past, and uh, I do look forward to maybe looking at, you know, some of your uh, products in the future. I believe at the conference, uh, someone had one of the um, one of the license extractors there. No, it was a honey. Yeah, it was a honey tank. That's what it was. Um, yeah, Dirt Rooster's uh, brother purchased that. We were thinking about it. And I was thinking about it. He actually. was thinking about it and it snagged it right out from underneath my friend. I tell you, what kind of a bum would do that? But anyways, um, Dirt Rooster, if you're watching this, send some of that warm weather up, please. <laughs> it's it's a little chilly up here. Uh, and anyways, but yeah, that's I, I love everything about it. It's quiet. The stainless steel makes it easy to clean. That's everything that I want to pump. It's fast. I like how it's got the dial and I especially like that it has it's reversible and easy to uh, just pump it back in if you need to. So there's a lot of nice features there. We're definitely going to do our best to have them at our conference and get to see more of these products firsthand and, and we've got to. We've got to know what the good products are. We've got to support the best products whether they're made in the USA or they're made by a quality manufacturer in Poland like this one is because uh, we can't settle for anything less than excellent or we're just gonna keep getting stuff that's less than excellent. And so that's what our videos are for and what other people are starting to do videos on these products. So folks can know what they're getting before they're buying it. So anything else you wanna add, Byron? I'm good. Well, me too. Let's finish wax dipping. Everyone, thanks for watching this video. Look forward to seeing you in the future. Thanks, Byron. <laughs>